Hi, everybody. We're back. It's 915. If you call Minnesota home, chances are there is a Northwoods League team in your area. Since 1994, the league has drawn in some of the best college athletes from across the country for three months of premier summer baseball right here in our backyards. And this is a crazy fact, fun fact. We learned nearly 10% of Major League Baseball players are Northwoods League alumni. Wow. Ryan Vaz is the president of the Northwoods League. He is the coach of the Wilmer Stingers and joins us via Zoom to talk a little bit more about the league. Ryan, thanks for taking time this morning. We appreciate you being yes, here. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell us about the league. This is new to me. I had never heard of it before. Yeah, this is uh, the 29th year, actually, uh, of Northwoods League baseball in the upper Midwest. The, the league first started with five teams and has now grown to 22 franchises uh, across the upper Midwest. So all summer collegiate baseball players uh, from all over the country. You have to have college eligibility to be able to play in the league. And uh, we're right now in our break uh, for the All-Star game tonight in Wisconsin Rapids, uh, Wisconsin. So we'll, we'll talk about that more in a minute, but kind of paint the picture here a little bit. of I mean, that ballpark that, that we just showed looked like a, I mean, this is pretty big time baseball, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know this is, uh, you know, what our goal is as a league is to give these guys the biggest uh, and the best experience we possibly can from a collegiate standpoint. So these guys will finish up their spring season at their college. They will drive across the country or fly into Minneapolis. We'll pick them up. They'll live with their host family. Uh, there are over 30 host families in each of the markets. And then uh, we try to give them the best big league uh, experiences we possibly can in terms of playing in front of crowds on a nightly basis and uh, the venues within the Northwoods League have just gotten better and better each year. So tell us now a little bit about the All-Star game tonight. That sounds pretty exciting. Yeah, this is a big deal. This is where all the top players in the league uh, were voted on amongst the coaches in the media within the markets. And uh, last night was our home run uh, derby, similar to the Major League home run derby. Tonight is the All-Star game. Uh, interesting enough, last night a guy in the home run derby uh, uh, was drafted by the Minnesota Twins yesterday in the fifth round. Thanks to the Twins, they allowed him to uh, continue to be in the home run derby for last night's game. Uh, he was leading the league in hitting, and so uh, kind of a celebratory day to have uh, him join the Minnesota Twins from the Northwoods League as of yesterday. Oh, how wow. cool. Yeah, and with, yeah. with MLB, with their all their festivities for, for their exactly. all-star game going on now, too. That's cool. Uh, hey, rewind a little bit. I want to know a little bit more about that the process of the host family and uh, how do you guys come up with the host families and, and how does that work? Yeah, so basically each of the markets has a host family coordinator and by really word of mouth, you recruit families. Uh, some are empty nesters. Some of them are families with young kids and the ball player will uh, be introduced to the family in the month of May while they're still in college. They'll show up, they'll move in with them at the end of May and then you have uh, a host son uh, for the summer. And what a what a great opportunity for the player to be able to be embedded within the community. And then for the families, uh, the relationships are remarkable. Um, and all the players that have come through the Northwoods League that have now moved on and played professionally or moved on and, and raised families and had weddings and the host families uh, coming back and spending this time. Uh, it's lifelong uh, friendships with their parents, but also with the player. Yeah, that's that is really, really cool. I was checking it out um, online and like I love the idea that the tickets are reasonable. And so I'm kind of curious about the fan base, like who's coming out to these games? Because I feel like it's the pr ticket prices are reasonable. You guys have so many games like anybody who has any sort of interest or love of the sport has like front row access, I feel like. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, typically the ticket price is probably 10 to $12 uh, per fan across the league. And we play 72 games in a 77 day window. So we play 36 home games, 36 road games. So there's more games played in that period than there are in minor league and major league baseball. So a uh, great opportunity for the players <laughs> to hone their skills and play. Um, and then it's, as you see in some of these clips, in terms of it's all about the entertainment piece to it. The baseball is very, very good, uh, but we cater to the non-baseball fan as well from a entertainment standpoint to be able to bring out your family for uh, a night out at the ballpark. Tell us quickly about the uh, the new the new team here in the in the Twin Cities area, the Mud, Mud Puppies. Puppies. Yeah, so uh, the, it's called the Minnesota Mud Puppies. They're based out of Egan, and this team was created when we weren't able to get across the country to Canada. A couple years ago in 2020, uh, we weren't able to cross the border, and so uh, the Minnesota Mud Puppies were created uh, 
and uh, they're a road only team. So they play 36 road games, zero home games. So technically they don't have any, they don't have any home games to play. They're on the road. They never have the last at bat. And these are college players, just like every other team in the league, but they're living with their real families now in the twin cities area versus a host family. They board the bus and they go to a different market uh, throughout the summer. So uh, the players love it. The concept has worked and uh, it's been a great addition to the league. Brian, I have to ask, like, tell me about your love of this. Why do you love this level of play? Why do you love yeah, I, this group? I, I, I tell you, you know, I, I've been doing this since I graduated from uh, college. So for the last 24 years, I started off as an intern, uh, became a general manager, owned a franchise in the league, and then became the president of the Northwoods League. And uh, it's the fans coming out to the ballpark, a place for, for people to be able to come and leave their uh, concerns or their problems aside and come to the ballpark with their family the player opportunity that they've been able to give. So uh, we say it's a league of opportunity for front office members, interns, coaches, players, um, and you work nine months getting ready for the summer and it's the mm -hmm. fan feedback that makes it all worthwhile for me. So that would be the biggest key. I bet. All right, well, good luck tonight with the All-Star Game and thank you for your time today. We appreciate it. All right, thank you guys. Take care.